What is up you guys? This is Jonathan Concepcion and today I want to update you guys on Dungeon of Greed's enemy scripts via AI pathfinding as well as laying out the groundwork for the game mechanic and modular design for Greed. So without further ado, let's get started. I want enemies and NPCs as well as the main character in Greed to be completely modular as far as the body parts and the head. Uh, to allow more visual customization, but also allow enemies to have variants, uh, making the dungeon experience more versatile. Unlike One Bit Adventure, if you as a player were to find a robe and equip it, you'll actually see it on your character wearing that exact robe. For now, um, I actually decided to focus more on doing a lot of adjusting with pivot points on a sprite sheet. And this really has to do with like different sprites actually have different set amount of pixels. So the difference between the character's head versus an enemy's head will vary. So I don't want to overlay like a big area if it's not necessary. Therefore, a lot of the time spent throughout the week was adjusting the sprite sheet and the pivot points. Also, get a better understanding of how the modular designs will work without too much hassle. I managed to get three enemies into the game which are the goblin, zombie, and the shadow creature to be able to chase and also do a basic attack onto the player. This also turned out to be quite a fun challenge which uh, lasted about uh, three or four days I would say. While One Bit's game mechanic, which I'm going to compare a lot between this game and One Bit, only because they're going to be similar, uh, but I do want to clarify that there are different things that are going to be in the game, and I feel like it would be really good to point it out. Enemies in One Bit Adventure really moved randomly, and only moved to the player when it was close to the player, but when it comes to obstacles, it can't really go around the obstacles. So everything isn't uh, set in stone as far as if an enemy can chase you down. I want Greed to utilize both random and also AI pathfinding uh, depending on the enemy or NPC. I had to experiment with A star pathfinding, which is like a mother load of pathfinding that works for 3D and 2D, but in this case, we're actually using it as a turn base, so it's not not necessarily going to move gradually it'll move anytime the player moves for the most part I had a lot of different tweakings to do where enemies would like go on to the same tile it's a collision based pathfinding but it doesn't update right away so I had to do another alternative so that the enemies know which tile they're actually on and occupying so that they can actually go around uh, each other. Eventually, I got the pathfinding to work seamlessly. This task was a bit of struggle, but in the end, it is so worth it. I also added a simple health bar UI uh, to display the health points of the enemies as well as uh, mana. So certain magic enemies, you'll actually see their mana drain and that can ultimately decide when you want to actually attack them or uh, having abilities to drain mana. Uh, it's still up in the air, but I figured I'd get that out the way. So that's pretty much it for this devlog. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know it's a short one, uh, but it, a lot of time was spent on researching and making sure that it worked right. At least we also solved the issue of making sure enemies don't overlap each other, hopefully. <laughs> so in the next video, I will be going over level generation as far as making the room uh, different sets of rooms appear in a dungeon as well as decorating the room so that it spawns with those objects. I will also be working on fog of war so let's say for an example there's a room nearby but you don't have a line of sight that's definitely an advantage if you did you know it'll help with uh, multiplayer aspects so you don't actually see who's in the next room until you go close to it. And lastly the next devlog will be going as a complete game loop so from start to finish you can actually play from the start of dungeon to the end of the dungeon fight some enemies and basically claim victory of that dungeon it is definitely gonna be a fun challenge I know we don't have items in the game or equipments and everything's kind of like 
a, a mock-up design so maybe the video after will go over adding items and equipments and all that fun gadgets that can make the dungeon experience more alive definitely let me know in the comment section what do you want to see in this game i mean this game is still early in development and i am also taking notes as people are suggesting different things for this game but feel free to let me know in the comments and definitely i want to thank you guys for watching this is jonathan concepcion logging out i will catch you guys later